Do you enjoy our YouTube content? Do you wish there was more? Well, now there is. Patreon.com slash Powercast Network. There you will find, just starting at $5 a month, more access to podcasts, to shows, to other saves. Check it out today, everybody. That's patreon.com slash Powercast Network. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 1987 Supermod. I'm your host, Brad Drake, and this is my AWA save. Tonight, the AWA is in Fairfield, California, with a spot show for the Fairfield High School Booster Club. That's right, we're raising money for the Booster Club here at the Fairfield High School Gym. All right, let's take a look at our backstage incidents. Wolfman Jr., Hey, he's doing impressions. That's awesome. The only problem is I don't know anybody else that's got hair and a beard like that, but uh, he's doing it. All right, we've got some protege work going on here. Very good. Absent workers, nothing but that Jerry Blackwell who's out with his injury. Let's take a look at our card, everybody. In our opener, Wayne Bloom is going to face Steve Olsonowski. Pat Tanaka is going to challenge Steve Regal for the world light heavyweight title. DJ Peterson is going to meet the Iron Sheik. Kelly, can it, uh, let me get that correct. Kevin Kelly, Nick Konichki, and Doug Summers will face the Guerrero brothers in a six-man tag. And you know that it's not a trios match. Ooh, it's a six-man tag. And in our main event, Larry Zabisco is going to face Ray Stevens, who is an absolute legend in the state of California. So with that said, everybody, you know what time it is. I know what time it is. Let's get to booking. Here we go. We got Bloom versus Olsonowski. There's Wayne Bloom, 30 years old. Steve Olsonowski, 34 years old. I didn't realize Wayne Bloom got that late of a start. How long has he been around at this point? He's a rookie. We're pretty close to it. All right, we're going to leave that one open-ended. We'll let the AI decide who's going to win. Chances are good. It'll be Olsonowski. All right, Tanaka versus Regal. We're going to have them go 16. Because we're going to make this one a technical master class for the world light heavyweight title. Think very highly of Pat Tanaka. As I said not too long ago, a couple months ago, I saw him in some footage of a training camp. And the man is in his late 50s, and he's still got it. Really talented guy. All right, moving right along here. Peterson versus the Iron Sheik. One's going to go 16. And we'll leave this one open-ended. Just in case, somehow, some way, TJ Peterson comes out with a win over the Sheik. But I find that doubtful. We're going to have this one go 18. Next, we have our big six man tag match, which we're going to have go 20 minutes. Three versus three, six man tag. Not a trios. Ooh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Kevin Kelly. Nick Konichki. Doug Summers, who's on a hell of a tear right now chasing down that world television title. And, of course, they're going to face all three of the Guerrero brothers, Chavo, Eddie, and Hector. 
That one's booked. We're going to leave this one open-ended just for the heck of it. Just to shake things up a little bit. We'll see what happens. And, of course, our main event here, which is going to go 25, is Abisco versus the California legend, Ray Stevens. And if any match is going to get you people in the seats in a high school gym for a, uh, a fundraiser for the Booster Club, it's going to be Ray Stevens at the top of the card. All right, we're going to have Larry Zabisco go over on this one. And Larry Zabisco is going to win by cheating. Tainted win. There we go, 104 minutes on this card. That's under two hours. Um, we can boost up the opener a couple minutes. We can have Tanaka and Regal go 18. 108 minutes. Yeah, that's all right. 108 minutes is just fine. All right, we're going to run this one. Let's see how it goes, everybody. There you go. Olsenowski with the win over Wayne Bloom. As predicted, Steve Regal defends his title against Pat Tanaka using, of course, the Fort Lauderdale leg lock. And that one's a little bit lower of a score than I had hoped for. But then again, we are in the Southwest. There you go. Shiki beats DJ Peterson with that camel clutch. 82 overall. Good match, especially for a spot show. All right. The Guerrero brothers beat Doug Summers, Kevin Kelly, and Nick Konechki. Eddie got the win there with the frog splash. That's pretty cool. All right. Very good. Very good. 82 over 82 for this match. Excellent. We get a 75 for the main event, and I'll take it. Ray Stevens just isn't putting up the numbers anymore like he used to. So we've got the holding back penalty, inconsistency, and declining physical ability. It's all right. Got a 76 overall for a spot show. I'll take it. That is a good score. All right. Now that our spot show is out of the way here, we're in the books, I should say. This next one will fall in week four, and that's going to be on Monday. We don't know where it's going to be yet, but we will focus on the tour now. And of course, I got the thing where I can't get to it. So we will be in San Francisco, California next and let's take a look. All right, we signed Dallas. And Dallas, Dallas of course, is going to become enhancement talent for us. And let's make sure that she is sorted out properly here with pay. All of you that have been watching long enough, you know the drill already. Getting 20, not a penny more. All right, there we go. Let's see, we're still waiting on Marty Gennetti and Shawn Michaels to see if we can get them to sign. Good news is we don't see anybody else making them an offer. We know we've lost Sherry Martell, of course, and frankly, after her drug problems just kicked in, it's probably time that Sherry Martell moves on. As much as I like her, and I think the world of Sherry Martell, we're starting to have those kind of problems. It's time for her to move on. Let's see what's going on in the NWA. Horrible main event there. Not horrible, but that's not a Jim Crockett's 1988 uh, main event. That's all I can say. Let's see, did the WWF run last night? Yeah, they did Wrestling Spotlight. That's all right, because that one is... The New Midnights. What is this shit? Bobby Eaton got a new team? Of course not. 
Oh, man. Just awful. Glad we got that straightened out in version 8 and version 9 that I'm playing. Let's check popularity for the heck of it. Do we have anybody in the top 20? Yes, we do. We got the Iron Sheik. Excellent. And that list really hasn't changed too much since the beginning of the game. Let's see if we got anybody else down here in the top 40. Got Bockwinkle, very nice. Bob Backlund, excellent. Jerry Lawler, if we go to top 50 here. Terrific. All right, as I said, everybody, we are going to be back tomorrow for the live event tour. And we're going to be in San Francisco, California. So thank you, everybody, for tuning into this episode. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. Give us a like and share it with your friends. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 supermod. We have a nice little community there where we discuss all things TEW and especially the 1987 Supermod. We also talk a lot about a lot of fun uh, wrestling stuff, too. Also, and last but not least, if you would like version 8 of the Supermod, go to braddrake.net, drop me a line. I'll be more than happy to send you over a link to the database and the picture pack. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in, and we'll see you tomorrow.